Welcome guys to this another math video. In today's video we'll be looking at how to divide fractions. But before we get into this video guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as these are all free ways to support the Chris Maths Academy. Now let's get right into the video. Now when we are dividing fraction guys, it is quite easy actually. But before we can go on and divide fraction, there is a concept that I want you guys to get. That way when we are dividing fraction, it makes a whole lot of sense to you guys. Now let's look at this for a bit. Now what if we had 8 divided by 4? I know that these are whole numbers and I know you guys can relate to the whole number. Now 8 divided by 4, I know you guys will agree with me that that is 2. So 4 can go into 8 twice or 2 times. Fair enough. Now we can also write 8, which is a whole number, as a fraction written in the form 8 divided by 1, which is the same thing as 8. Because 1 goes into 8 8 times, so we haven't changed the value of the 8 right here. Now we can also write 4 as 4 divided by 1. Now we know that this fraction right here, which is really 8, but I just wrote it in the form of a fraction, 8 divided by 1. So it's pretty much 8 divided by 4. Alright, so we know that when we divide these two fractions, we, we obtain 2. Now let's look at something cool guys. Now, this is the same thing as if we had 8 divided by 1 multiplied by this fraction flipped. Alright, what do I mean by flipped? We are going to interchange the denominator and the numerator. What that means, we are going to bring the denominator to the top and bring the numerator to the bottom, all right? So we're going to carry the one up to the top, all right? And carry the numerator, which is four here, to the bottom. And this right here, guys, is called the reciprocal, all right? Which is just a cool way of saying we, that we flip the four divided by one here, all right? So it's just another way of saying that. Now remember what I told you guys, dividing by this fraction here, which is 4 divided by 1, is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. And remember, reciprocal just simply means that we flip it. So we should be getting the same 2. Now let's see. So remember on the multiplying fraction, we can just multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Now let's see what we'll get. So we'll have 8 times 1, which is 8, divided by 1 times 4, which is 4. And 4 goes into 8 2 times. So there you go guys. I hope that makes a whole lot of sense to you guys. Because we're going to need to understand this concept right here. In dividing fractions. Which is pretty much what we just did. Now the same thing applies when we are dealing with our usual fraction. Remember these were whole numbers. That are just converted to fractions. Because I know you guys can relate to this quite easily. Alright. So what we're going to do guys. Notice what we did here. We're just going to keep this fraction right here, which is 2 thirds. And remember guys, just like what we demonstrated over here, dividing by 5 quarter is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of this. Remember, the reciprocal just simply means that we're going to flip it. So instead of dividing, I'm going to change the sign to multiplication. And remember what's going to happen here, we're going to flip this, which is the reciprocal. So 5 divided by 4 will become 4 divided by 5. And remember guys how we multiply, alright? We can just multiply in the numerators together and the denominators together. So here we'll have 2 times 4 which is 8 divided by 3 times 5 which is 15. So I hope this is making a whole lot of sense to you guys. So I know some of you guys might be wondering now what if we had some mixed fractions into the mix? That sounds pretty cool, right? Now let's look at a question like that one right now. Alright guys, so here we are at with example 2. So here we have 2 and 3 fifth divided by 1 and 1 third. Now to divide mixed fraction guys, it's pretty easy. All we have to do here is to convert the mixed fractions to improper fraction. And let's do that. So we can have what? 5 times 2, that's 10 plus 3 believe that's 13 divided by 5 all right then we'll have our division sign here and we can convert this as well so we'll have 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 
believe that's 4 divided by 3. And I know once we are here, many of you guys are able to complete the problem so you can pause the video and complete the problem and resume the video and let's see how you did, alright? Now remember guys, when we divide in, we keep the first fraction here, which is a 13 divided by 5. And remember guys, dividing by the second fraction, which is 4 divided by 3, in this case are 4 thirds, is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 4 thirds. So we can change the sign to multiplication and flip this fraction right here. Alright, so 4 divided by 3 will become 3 divided by 4. And remember how we multiply guys, we just simply multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So we'll have 3 times 13, which is 39, divided by 5 times 4, which is 20. And that's pretty much how we divide fraction guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already as these are all free ways to support the Christmas Academy as we strive to make awesome things happen. I'm looking forward to see you guys in our next video. Until then, blessings and peace.